Hello! Today we're going to have a quick look at System Restore. There is a chance that over time things can go wrong. We might install a program that messes up settings and we might have other issues that affect settings or our computer might not be as effective as it was at a previous time. Okay, we must factor this in and thus use System Protection and System Restore. Okay. How do we get to this? We basically go over here and type in restore. Okay, create a restore point. Okay, and that'll bring up this one. Okay, now we type on configure, turn on system protection. Okay, give it a size. Okay, let's assume, shall we say, 20% of the disk or 10% or whatever. Okay, click OK. That's on. And now, when we are happy with our system, we create a restore point. And also, once this is on, automatically when updates are installed or other programs are installed, restore points are automatically created. So we can create a restore point, give it a name, let's say clean, clean PC. Okay, create. That'll take some time. Basically, it'll go through all the settings and create a restore point. Okay, when the restore point is created, it'll be over here. Okay, now there are a couple of ways to come back to that. Over time, there'll be lots of restore points set up. Okay, and you can change things or you can delete the restore. Okay, now to come back to it, restore. Okay, now that we've created our restore point, we might want to at a future date, shall we say, once problems happen, we want to come back to it. We open up our system restore, basically just type in restore. Okay, create a restore point, it brings up the same window. Okay, but it's basically system properties. Go to system restore. Okay, click next. And then there you go. It'll probably have a list of them, okay, providing you have space on your desk. It keeps kind of like, shall we say, creating restore points, so you might have multiple ones. And then you could go back, for example, after an update, if you found that things were not working, you just go back to the one previous to the update, okay? And you just click on it, okay, click Next, okay, and then click Finish. It'll take time, okay, and then it'll restart your computer, and then everything will be okay. All right. Another option to find it, if you're unable to boot into it, let's assume you're at least able to get up to, shall we say, a start screen. Okay. What you want to do is hold down the shift button whilst you click on restart. If you're able to get any restart thing, hold down the shift button whilst restarting. And that brings up this option. Then we can go to troubleshoot. Okay, shall we say, go back to, no. We want to go to advanced options. Okay, click on system restore. Okay, and that'll do a little search through the hard drive to find any restore points. We've created one, so it should find our previous one. And we come to the same screen as before. And then we click on the restore point that we want. Okay. This is actually an option. Scan for affected programs. Basically, it'll tell you which programs are affected. Let's click on that. And basically, if there are any programs that would basically get, shall we say, deleted or uninstalled by you doing the restore, it actually tells you which programs will be deleted. Okay, it'll tell you which things will be restored that might not be currently on there, etc. And the other option is to use the Windows DVD or USB stick to basically restore it. So basically, you boot up from it. Okay, click next. Instead of clicking install, you click repair your computer. And then it's the same as before. Okay, advanced options, system restore. Let's 
fine. And then it's click next. And then as you can see it finds it and you just do it as before. Hopefully this has helped and will save you a lot of problems in the future. Thank you.